today we're going to add some new code to Scratch and learn how to do two things. We're going to add some special music code and we're also going to add text to speech so that we can type in a message and have our sprites actually speak it out loud. The first thing we're going to do is create a new project and where it says untitled we're going to erase it and we're going to call it text, T-E-X-T, -E and your name. Once we've named it, we're going to go add our new code. To do this, we're going to look on the left-hand side for this blue block at the bottom of our code menu. When I click on this, it brings me to a menu with a lot of choices. We're going to add music right here, and when we click on it, it adds a music section to the bottom of our code. I'm going to click back again and get text to speech and add that as well. So now I have text to speech and music both on my code menu. Now it's time to begin. I'm going to start by going to my yellow events dot and getting a green flag code. Then I'm going to scroll down and get text to speech. On here, I'm going to get set voice to alto. If I want to change the sound of the voice, I can pull it down and choose one from the list. Then I'm going to grab a speak box. And in here, it says speak hello. When I press my green flag, he should speak it out loud. Hello. I'm going to add another speak box underneath. And this one is going to say, my name is Scratch. You can choose any name for your sprite. I'm just using Scratch for this one. Next, I'm going to have him ask your name. So I'm going to add speak again. And I'm going to say, what's your name? So now when I play it, hello. My name is Scratch. What's your name? He's going to ask for a name. Now, I'm going to have him wait to get your name and then speak it back. So I'm going to go to my sensing menu, the light blue dot, and I'm going to look for ask what's your name and wait. And I'm going to stick that in there. I'm also going to need the one under it that says answer. So I'm going to pull it out and put it to the side for now. I'm going to go back to text to speech. I'm going to add another hello, another hello, but for the second hello, I'm going to put answer inside that box. So now when I press my green flag, hello, my name is Scratch. What's your name? I'm going to get a box down here where I can type my name. When I press enter on my keyboard, hello, Ms. Martin. It should say hello and your name. I'm going to add one more speak box down here and I'm going to say, would you like to see me dance? And then press the space bar to start my dance party. Now I chose space bar. You can choose any key on the keyboard for this. So now when I click my green flag. Hello, my name is Scratch. What's your name? Hello, Ms. Martin. Would you like to see me dance? Press the space bar to start my dance party. All right, so now we're going to add our dance party to this. I'm going to go back to events and I'm going to get when space key pressed. If you're using the space bar, you can leave it on space. If you chose a different key, find your key here on the list. Now, this is where we're going to start using our music code. I'm going to go to music and the very first code says play drum. And I'm going to pull that down here. I can choose a drum sound over here. 
I'm going to stick with snare drum for now. And I'm going to go up to motion. And I'm going to put two move 10 steps. I'm going to make the first one 20 steps and the second one minus 20 steps. I'm going to go to control and get a weight code and put it between the two moves. And I'm going to get another weight code and put it under the second move. Both of these I'm going to make point one instead of regular one, point one. I'm going to go back to music. I'm going to get another play drum and I'm going to put it underneath the first weight. And I'm going to choose a different sound for this one. Now, this will play one time. If I want it to play more than once, I need to go to control and get a forever box. When I bring my forever box over, I'm going to stick it right underneath space key. When I let go, it should include all of my code. So now I'm going to play it. I'm going to press the space key on my keyboard. And my cat will dance. I can change the sound if I want something different. And then I'm going to add a background and you may choose any background you want. Once you're done, make sure you click share and then copy link, copy link, and go turn it in in Google Classroom.